Hello everyone, welcome to Out of Spec Guide. I'm Max, and today I'm gonna to show you how to charge at charge points level two stalls. What's level two? It's basically a slower form of charging your electric car that you're gonna find at a lot of parking lots, garages like this, shopping centers, malls, restaurants, places where you can you know go, eat, shop, do your thing, and while you're out for a few hours, your car gains some meaningful range. So this is what the stalls look like. We're gonna show you how to use them, so stay tuned. So every electric car can charge at these stalls because basically all electric cars except Tesla's have this circle connector called J1772. Great name, I know. But basically you can just know that if your car has this, you can plug right in. So Nissan Leaf, Chevy Bolt, Hyundai Ionic 5, whatever the vehicle, it has this. We're not gonna worry about these pins today. That's for fast charging, which we cover in other videos on this channel. Now I should mention if you do have a Tesla, there is an adapter you can get that plugs into your Tesla and becomes a port like that. So you can use these stations. Um, that comes with certain models of Tesla from certain model years, but if you don't have it in your Tesla, you can order it from their site. We'll link that in the description. So let's say you just got here, you don't know how to activate. The quickest way without an account, without an app on your phone, without anything, is really just to activate with a card. So you can use a credit card if your card has what's called contactless payments. So you'll see this icon on your credit card. If it does, it looks like you know this wireless symbol. Uh, or if you use a mobile wallet like Apple Wallet on your phone or Google Wallet, you can use that as well to just tap here. Once you tap, uh, you're gonna hear a sound from the uh, stall. It's gonna say authorizing and then it's gonna confirm that we're charging within an account. For today, we're gonna accept that. So hit this button, accept. Now it's gonna, again, say authorizing. We'll wait a few seconds. And then you'll hear a sound and it's gonna tell us we're ready to plug in, showing us an animation here. So we're gonna take this handle out of the station. And in this case, we've parked as close as possible as we can to the station. So we can just plug this right into our car. In this case, my colleague, Ryan Chevy Bolt and uh, plug it in and we'll hear a click. We're gonna hear some communication from the car, but also on the charging screen, we can see it says waiting for EV, and then fairly quickly it should switch over to charging. If you had encounter issues in this process, you can always try another stall. Sometimes these aren't always super reliable. Um, and then we're gonna have a dedicated troubleshooting video we'll link later um, for other issues. So the way I recommend activating at any charge point stall, be it DC fast charging or level two, is, well, just with the app, I find it works most reliably. So if you have an iPhone on the App Store, you'll search ChargePoint, and then you'll see it's gonna come up. Their icon looks like this. You'll tap on that, and you'll make sure it's installed. On an Android phone, you go in the Google Play Store uh, in the apps, and then you just search ChargePoint. Type that in on your keyboard. You'll see a similar icon pop up, looks like this. Make sure it's installed, and then on your phone platform of choice, open the app, and let's get going. So when you open the ChargePoint app, you're gonna see a screen slightly different from this. That's because my cameraman, Ryan here, whose phone this is already has an account set up, but it's very self-explanatory. You just enter your name, your email, your info, and then it's gonna prompt you for payment. So in this case, you, uh, Ryan's added a credit card here under payment. You can see your ChargePoint balance, which you actually can add. I don't recommend keeping a high balance because just like Starbucks, Chipotle, all of these apps that keep balances, they're just collecting interest on that. You can always just pay with your card whenever you need more funds. But anyhow, we've got our payment added in ChargePoint. Now we're gonna show you how to actually activate. So we've actually parked at a charger, pulled up. You can see right here on the ChargePoint screen, it says that this is 1500 Pearl One. Uh, so that's the charger we're gonna wanna find in the app. You can see the app screen is just this map here. There's a bunch of colors here. The green teardrops are chargers that we can use that are good, that are available. The blue ones are ones that are in use because another car is charging there like this. We'll ignore those. Gray ones we'll also ignore because that just means they're offline. So green means available and ready to go. So there's a lot of options here. Sometimes when you're in a garage, the GPS on the phone isn't super accurate. So just make sure that you confirm the right charger. That's Pearl 2. Uh, that's a different stall that's next to us. We're using Pearl 1 today. So. Make sure the name matches, looks like it does. We're gonna scroll down, confirm that it is available. We have the option to start charge. We're gonna hit yes, we're gonna start our charge. It's contacting the charger. We'll wait a few seconds. And then the charging screen should eventually let us know that it's time to plug in. Just like that, we can plug in. So let's say you're done charging. It's time to you know just hit the road. Well, how do you unplug? It's fairly simple on these uh, low power stalls. You just press the button on this handle, then you can just 
pretty easily remove it from your car make sure your door is closed sometimes i forget this it's very embarrassing if you drive with your door open and then put this handle back into the stall you're all good to go you're going to see a summary of how much your session cost Another really convenient method of activating for the future that I like to use is actually setting up my charge point card on my mobile wallet. In this case, Apple Wallet. If you have an Android phone, that's Google Wallet. So on the charge point app, you're going to hit this hamburger on the top left. That brings up a menu. You'll select account. Then you'll go to manage cards. And then you'll see this option. In this case, because we have an iPhone, tap your iPhone to charge. We've got to set this up. So what it's going to do is it's going to give us a virtual card we can trigger with an Apple Pay shortcut. You can see this option here, Add to Apple Wallet. I'm going to tap on that, and then I'm going to add it to the Apple Wallet. So now it's a shortcut on this phone permanently. I can always engage the Apple Pay gesture, and it's going to bring up the charge point card. Then I could tap it to the station like I showed you earlier with a card. Same process, but just with a phone or a smartwatch. Okay, so we showed you how to charge with level two on ChargePoint. It's one of the more common uh, types of stalls you'll see out and about in the world. And while it's not the fastest way to charge your electric car, it is one of the simplest and um, usually I find pretty painless. So now we've got a good amount of charge in the bolt. We're gonna head out. But this has been Out of Spec Guide. I'm Max. Thank you so much for watching. This channel exists for your inquiries and questions. So if you have questions about your EV or charging or anything with your ownership experience, let us know. Email us, guide at outofspecstudios.com. We'll link that in the description. Or you can uh, hit us up on Twitter as well if you'd like to do that. Thanks so much for watching.